Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together. I'd like us to look at Matthew chapter 3 today, beginning with verse 1. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So change your heart and life. Why? Because God's authority is available to change you. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now John wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then all Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region around Jordan were going out to him, and they were baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said, You brood of vipers, who warned you from the wrath to come? Bear fruit in keeping with repentance. Now, very quickly, take this snapshot of John's life and ministry. There was a purpose of his life. Prepare Israel for the Messiah. And that purpose of his life came from Scripture. It didn't come from some silly person's prophecy about him. The purpose of his life came from Scripture, so must yours. The location of his ministry, God chose his location to be in the wilderness. God did not send John to Jerusalem. God did not send John to, to Galilee. God sent John to the wilderness. So not only did God have a purpose for his life and ministry, God had a location for his life and ministry. The goal of his ministry, prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. And again, that goal of ministry came from Scripture. It didn't come from something in culture. The provision of John's ministry. Notice, he ate locusts and wild honey. His clothes were camel's hair and a leather belt. His, his provision came from his location. He wasn't trying to dress like Jerusalem in the wilderness. He wasn't trying to eat like Jerusalem in the wilderness. His provision came from his location. His acts of ministry. He preached repentance, very confrontational. There's not a lot of talking about that today. We want to preach relational. We want to preach God loves you and God wants the best for you. And all that's beautiful, but John was very confrontational. You will never see changed lives coddling people. You see changed lives when you preach repentance. He baptized people. He challenged people to confess sins. But then in 7 to 10, he was very confrontational with people who put on a religious show. With people who were just out there because it was the new religious thing to do. He was very confrontational with them. Who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Bring forth fruit of your repentance. So extremely confrontational with people that just wanted to ride the religious movement and wanted to, to be a part of, oh, it's, it's, it's good to look this spiritual now. It's good to be a part of this. It's, it's making the right connections. He, he, he was very intolerant of that. A little snapshot of John's ministry as we start the year. <laughs>